Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Minecraft, Roblox, web programming, and many more. Today, we're going to create an obstacle course in Minecraft using Redstone. This is a two part video. Um, in this first part of the obstacle course, we'll be looking at the unwelcoming wall and the wall running obstacles. And in this process, we'll learn how to do a redstone circuit. So let's get started. So we're going to start by creating a creative world in Minecraft. So to start with, we click on single player. And since I don't have a world created, um, he has told me to make a new world. Here, I'm going to change the game mode into creative. Change the difficulty into peaceful, so there's no mobs that can attack us. And lastly, I'm going to go into more world options, change the world type into super flat, and then I'm going to create my world. And once the world has generated, we can start doing. So as you can see, our world is just flat and we're also in creative world. So if I press E or my inventory, I have access to all blocks and I can also double click on spacebar to fly. So for the first obstacle, uh, we want to build a red stone circuit in order to act as an internal clock that activates the pistons. So I'm gonna pick up a block and uh, it doesn't matter what block you pick. So I'm just gonna pick stone and I'm gonna go to rest stone. I'm gonna pick piston, a rest stone torch, the rest stone repeater, rest stone dust, and I'm also gonna grab the ladder while I'm here. So ladder, all right. So for our obstacle, we want to build it three blocks high. So we're gonna have one, two, three, and then build two more blocks above that like this. And then I can remove the three blocks underneath like so. So I have two blocks that are three blocks above and I'm gonna build two block across and one block down. So you look like this. And in the middle, I'm gonna put a sticky piston or just a normal piston, it's up to you, right here. And after me, after that, I'm gonna build a platform uh, beneath and behind the piston. So I'm gonna build three blocks here, platform like this, and I'm gonna build a three by two platform like so. And to do the reds, stone circuit, um, I'll just show it on the floor here and see how it works. So we start by placing a block and the block is gonna hold the redstone torch. The redstone torch is gonna supply power to whatever redstone tools is connected to it. So the first thing we're connecting is a redstone repeater. And as you can see, it's lit up. That means it is powered by the redstone torch. Then I'm gonna have redstone dust run across like this. And I'm gonna use another repeater and I'm gonna aim it at the block. So now you see we have an internal clock going and um, this is gonna be what we build over here to make the piston extend itself periodically. And pretty much how this works is that the rest of the torch is powering this repeater, this repeater is powering this repeater, which is powering on this block. And whenever a block is powered, it actually turns off the rest stone torch so the restaurant torch turns off, which turns off this repeater, which turns off this repeater, which turn off the power in this block, turning this clock or turning this torch back on. And I just keeps repeating. So over here, I'm gonna fly over here. And we're gonna build the same thing as what we have over here. So to start at this platform, at the very edge to the right, I'm gonna put down a block. Then I'm gonna put a restaurant torch just like how we have it there. A repeater going out, redstone dust going across, and finally a repeater going back into the block. So here we can see we have the redstone circuits going. And the final step is to put a redstone dust connecting it to the pistons. So now you can see the power to the pistons on and off. 
And on this side, you can see the piston going on, you know, pushing it off and on, extending itself periodically. And the final step for our obstacle course is to build a platform that the user has to walk across. So here I'm gonna build a platform. And to get up to this platform, I'm gonna build here a three block high uh, ladder, like so. So we can go up. And uh, yep, if you see that, I wasn't careful and I was pushed off by the piston. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and also like our video so far. So moving on to the second, uh, second obstacle, we can actually put it to the left of here as the second level kind of. And what we're gonna do is pick out the glass blocks and these would be placeholders for us. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build What I'm going to do is build the glass blocks um, six blocks high. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then here's going to be my actual wall that I'm going to have the user climb. So here you can make any shape you want with the actual blocks. And here I'm going to make some kind of weird, not even shape maybe like so and what we're going to do is put the ladders on the very bottom layer of each one so i'm gonna go like this and um you can also add a layer on this side like this and um you can layer your ladders however way you want to make it easier or harder for the user to climb but um this will conclude our second obstacle and so we can just build a platform, like maybe because we start over here, we can build a platform like so, so that the user can start from here and they have to make their way across. And here, I'm gonna add a platform in which the user has successfully won the game. So here, I'm gonna build a platform right next to the endpoints like this. And yeah, these are two obstacles for our first half of the video. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Also check out our other two videos while you're here. Thank you. Bye-bye.